What's up, y'all? It's Nate. Welcome back to another episode of Fallen Tide TV. And today we're doing an episode that's a little bit different than usual. It's a foggy, overcast, humid day, which means it's a perfect day to go out and pick chapillons or oyster mushrooms here in South Louisiana. We usually pick them off of willow trees, but they'll get on all kind of different trees. We don't even know what kind of tree we're gonna be picking them on today, but we're gonna go give it a shot. Hopefully we can get some, take them home and fry them up. Careful walking through here, though. No, no shoulders. Be lied up in, laid up in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Time for a good one. Right. Oh yeah. That's some pretty ones. What are we looking for? Real nice. I'm gonna get the whole thing right now. All these willows in here. Gotta have something in here. They gotta have something in here. Gotta have something in here. You got some? Yep. All right, they're gonna have some over here too. I'm coming. Old Taylor over there is on the other side of the road. About to go see what he's got. Hopefully, he got a big bunch of them. Ugh. Chucking through this stuff. Gotta have a good, good bit because he's out there singing. I hear him singing. He's singing to himself. Right across the road. Alright. Go, look at him up there. Up top right here. Up top with his branch up there. Oh, you found a pile of them, dude. Up top, right above your head. Right here. Big pile oh, yeah, right I see there. the end of it right here. Let's go. Hey, hey, come see. Look. Them right there is what start. That's what started it. Yeah. And then look, I sat here and seen them right there. That's a nice pile of them. Oh yeah, dude. You got us a tree, buddy. Oh yeah, boy. You got us a tree, buddy. This one's a little old. <laughs> Boy, yeah, I see them now. We're gonna have to get like Georgia the Jungle and get up there. I'm gonna grab these. Yeah, grab them real quick. And then I'm gonna go in and buy them. Get the bag. If they only knew. Right, they don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. See if my fat ass can get up here. Leave no mushroom left behind, dude. Oh no. Suck. Were you trying to whack him with that? No, I was trying to jump and so grab him. Oh, see if I can grab the branch. Yeah. I'm gonna hang on it, alright? You yeah, want you, you to hang on or you want my fat behind to hang on and you grab? I'm matter. heavier. Whatever one you want. I'm heavier. Heavy. Let me try to hang on it and you try to. I didn't know I would need the GoPro for this. Cool, boy. You give me that. Give me that machete. Right, right behind machete. you on the ground. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. All right. Oh, don't smush him. No, I'm not. <laughs> I got the branch. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. That's pretty. <laughs> Bruh. We can see what's on the back side of them. We got some on the back. Look at all of that. Look at all of that. Oh, dude. dude these are fresh. Look at these. Ready? Oh, oh yeah, we found them. Yes, sir. Woo! <laughs> 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 this is like shooting freaking. Oh, my land. <laughs> everywhere you look. They're everywhere in here, huh? Yeah, all over the place. Dude. We found a hot spot right here. Dude. Let's go. Mark this. All hey, all drop a here. pin on this spot. They all over the street. Where you find them, where, wherever you find them, they drop you a pin, them. go back, and get them again another day. They'll be back. We got more than we know what to do with right now. Give some to Gary. 
Yeah, he did give us the last batch. Mm-hmm. He's sharing his care. Oh, look at that. That's some good stuff, boy. Look at that. That's some really fresh ones, too. Yeah, boy. Let's go fry these things. Dude, that don't even feel like it should be legal. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, so easy. It's just, they're right there. <laughs> I love doing this. Oh, getting mushrooms, one of my favorite things to do. Ah, full of mosquitoes, though. <laughs> you seen him from the road? Yeah, I seen him from the road. Just gotta find the tree down. I think he was a little bit further down, huh? Yeah, pretty positive. I think he was on the other side of this thing. Right there. Cool! That's what I was saying. I can't leave that. Yeah, dude, you can't even pass that up. I can't leave that. That's yeah. what I was telling you. I can't leave that. Yeah, heck no. Let me drop another thing, dude. They look old. Dude, they all look old. Dang, boy. They yeah, mate. Which one? The ones up top? Junior ones up top. Those are yeah, These are old. They got the bugs all over them. That's still a good tree. Oh, very good tree, yeah. You gonna climb for them? Yeah, dude, that's some tender ones. I just gotta figure out how to get my fat behind up here. Oh, this is a nice climbing branch here. That one's not. Oh man, this thing's gonna break on me, Nate. The whole branch? Feel that? No, you don't feel that. The boy climbed the whole tree for a mushroom. There you go. Good. I, I couldn't leave that. <laughs> yeah, boy, when you see them from the road, that's when you know you got a lot. But these right here, they not no good. See, they got all them bugs all over them. They all gross. Yeah, you don't want to pick nothing like that. You want them to be nice and fresh and white. I mean, you pick them like that, you, you, you're not going to eat that. All right, y'all, so I'm going to give you all a rundown on these oyster mushrooms real quick. So when you pick them, this is what you want them to look like. You want them to be white. You don't want them to be dried out. Whenever you start to prep these things, you're going to want to soak them in cold water, wash them off in cold water. You want to get all the bugs off of them. We usually swap the water two or three times, make sure we get all the bugs off of them. There's going to be some little black bugs on them and maybe some worms. So just, you know, be careful. Make sure that y'all picking the right stuff. All right, so oyster mushroom. It's a very specific mushroom. Don't pick anything that's kind of like it or anything that don't look anything like it. I don't want y'all to be picking the wrong stuff. If y'all need help figuring out what it is, if you go out in the wild and you're looking for some, this is my Instagram right here. Go ahead and DM me, I'll help y'all out. So there's a lot of different ways that you can cook these mushrooms. The way that we're doing them today is we're gonna go ahead and fry them up. A lot of times what I do is I just get flour, season it up, and fry them up like that. But what Taylor's been doing lately, and it's been really good, is he's been actually mixing these two fish fry and chicken fry together. Well, I tell you, it's good, it's good. It's Oak Grove brand fish fry and chicken fry, and you can get it from your local Rouse's. So we got them here in the bowl. We're gonna throw them in a little egg wash right here. Throw them in the batter, That's what they look like, and we'll throw them straight into grease here. What you got of that, bro? We, uh, I run the 350 and 375, uh, and that's why I like to keep it. Yeah, boy. You ready? I'm about to dump. <laughs> All right, y'all. About to roll this B-roll for y'all.
Look at that, boy. Some good stuff. That's an absolute delicacy. I highly recommend it. Remember, they're gonna be on rotten trees, logs. Mainly around here, it's gonna be probably willow trees in South Louisiana. So just remember that. And I encourage each and every one of y'all to get out, go try to find some, and keep these old traditions alive. With that being said, we're gonna wrap up today's episode right there. I really hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if y'all wanna see me do some more episodes like this, the ones that are a little bit different. I really appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV.